I want to talk about the leadership and vision for a moment. And so when we talk about vision, a lot of these things that we, when we talk about vision, again, some people say the vision statement, it's something that's on the wall, or, you know, it's this document that executives come up with. And I want you to, to forget that for a bit. Remember when you first started to drive, and there's probably a tendency with new drivers to focus too close to the hood of the car, right? You're always kind of looking over the edge of the car, worried about whether you're in the lanes, worried about whether there's a pothole or not, especially uh, in the wintertime and the cold climates. And then what you started to learn, or what your instructor would tell you, is to look up to the horizon, right? Keep your eyes scanning for information. The same goes with vision. If you're the type of leader who's always focused just over the hood of the car and you're just looking at what needs to be done next, you're missing the chance to get your head up and see what you'd like to see happen in your company or your organization or your department. So my suggestion is, in this next exercise, is I want you to think about what are some of the frustrations, the hassles, the difficulties that bug you and, and that you don't feel like you're as effective as you should be. But then take those hassles and frustrations and instead write them as positive. If, if you could get a picture in your mind about how your work group would work ideally, what would it look like? What are the frustrations? What's the opposite of those frustrations that you would define in terms of your vision? Because if you can't see a picture of how your department could work in ideal situations, you won't be able to lead people there. One of the aspects of leadership is the ability to have a vision. And that doesn't mean you'll make speeches about it. It just means that you're going to govern your behavior and actions according to that picture you have in your mind. Perfect world as you can see. It's a perfect world.